chapter number 10. She'll be reading verses 1 through 15. Amen. Now it came to pass when Adonizedek, king of Jerusalem, 
had heard how Joshua had taken Ai and had utterly destroyed it as he had done to Jericho and her king. So he had done to Ai and her king and how the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were among them, that they feared greatly because Gibeon was a great city yes. as one of the royal cities and because it was greater than Ai and all the men thereof were mighty. Uh -huh. Wherefore, Adonizedek, king of Jerusalem, sent unto Hoham, king of Hebron, and unto Pyram, king of Jarmuth, and unto Jephia, king of Lachish, and unto Dibur, king of Eglon, saying, Come up unto me, and help me, that we may smite Gibeon, for it hath made peace with Joshua and with the children of Israel. Therefore the king of the five kings of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lachish, the king of Eglon, gathered themselves together and went up, they and all their hosts, and encamped before Gibeon and made war against it. And the men of Gibeon sent unto Joshua to the camp to give Gilgal, saying, Slap not thy hand from thy servants. Come up to us quickly and save us and help us. For all the kings of the Amorites that dwell in the mountains are gathered to get are gathered together against us. So Joshua ascended from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him, and all the mighty men of valor. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly and went up from Gilgal all night. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon and chased them along the way that going up to Beth Haran and smote them unto Ezekiah and unto Makeda. And it came to pass as they fled from before Israel and were in the going down to Beth Haran that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Ezekiah, and they died. There were more which died with hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel, and he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon. And thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. Yes. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Yes. Is this not written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and hasted not to go down about a whole day. And there was no day like that before it or after it that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, unto the camp to Gilgal. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, God, for your word. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, Lord, for this moment, God. We ask you, Lord, to bless these, your people, God. And Lord, I ask you to bless me and use me, God, as your messenger, God. Lord, that you would speak through me, God, that I would decrease, God, that you would increase within me, God, that you would get the glory, God, hallelujah, and that this word would go forth on good ground. Lord, we ask you to bless it, Lord. We bind the enemy, Lord Jesus, Lord. And Lord, the atmosphere, Lord, that will shift, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless us, we pray, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, hallelujah, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I want to speak to you on a subject today, the miracle in the battle. The miracle in the battle. Sometimes you just know certain things. Amen. And I know that the enemy has been fighting, you know, us on an individual basis, amen, because of the things that were 
trying that we're that we're doing and accomplishing. Amen. And the enemy will fight you in those things in tooth and nails. Amen. And so we are in the midst of a battle. Amen. We're dealing with different battles. Amen. And you, we've been talking about faith. Amen. The last couple of weeks and 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 talking about the Holy Ghost and you have to have faith. Amen. In the midst of the battle. Amen. But the thing is, you're in the midst of your battles. Your faith will take you one way or another. Amen. Your faith, and you're going to build in faith. Amen. Because you're winning the battle. Amen. Or you're maintaining in the battle. Amen. But the question is, when it feels like you're losing the battle, will you still remain faithful? Yes. Will you still remain to keep your faith in the middle of the battle? Amen. Amen. So we, we deal with, amen. We're going through battles. Amen. We're fighting, amen, the forces and the kingdom of darkness. Amen. And we're fighting against these things because we're trying to go forward in God. We're trying to go forward with our walk with God. Amen. And the enemy is going to try to uh, uh, try to come against you. Amen. So we deal with, amen, battling. Amen. Because we've been fasting and praying and seeking after God and moving forward in him. Amen. And the enemy will try to make you feel like that you're not getting anywhere. Amen. He will make you feel like that you're not accomplishing anything. Amen. But I'm here to tell you today that you are accomplishing something. Amen. It may not feel like you are, but I want to encourage you today. Amen. If you're still here and if you're still holding on, that you are accomplishing something. Amen. Because the enemy will try to come and he'll try to battle you in your mind. And he'll try to come and talk to you. And he'll try to come and try to, to make you uh, uh, upset and make you doubt the things that God said and make you begin to say, well, did God really say this? And uh, am I really supposed to be doing this? And then when you don't see things changing, you begin to feel uh, uh, disappointed in the things that you've been dealing with. Amen. And then it leads to different things. And you begin to ask God, well, how long? And, you know, how long is this going to come keep going on and then you go into you uh, then you might start dealing with uh, uh, being sad and depressed and will lead to frustration and then it will lead to anger and then when you get angry then eventually it's going to lash out it's going to lash out against somebody amen so we're dealing with amen these different things and you battle amen sometimes it's, it was within your body amen and I know how it is when I remember when my knee was messed up and I wasn't able to do some of the things that I could do before. Amen. When your body is hurting, you become frustrated. Amen. Because you can't do what you used to do. Amen. You can't get up and just come, go, come and go as you please yeah. as you used to. Amen. Because you got aches and pains or an injury or whatever it may be. Amen. And the enemy will get to your mind. Amen. Because of your body. I mean, even your somebody was testifying on Tuesday. Amen. I can understand when you're going through financially and you don't know how things are going to change exactly. and it can feel like a hopeless situation amen and you don't know where the next you know breakthrough is coming amen the enemy will fight you amen when God is getting is getting ready yes. to move you forward amen but be encouraged today amen because God hallelujah is going to bless you God is going to keep you he's building you in the midst of your trials he's building you in the midst of you're going through. <laughs> Even in the midst of you falling huh, and messing up, huh, he's still building you. Yeah. Huh. Even when Peter huh, messed up and denied Jesus three times, huh, he messed up. Huh. But, but Jesus comes back huh, and he restores him. Huh. He restores him and not only that, huh, he pours into him that he goes to another level. Yeah. Amen. So God huh, will restore you. Huh. God will build you up. Huh. And even Samson messed up. Huh. Amen. He gave the power, the source of his power was his hair. Huh? And then they cut his hair off. Huh? And they gouged his eyes out. Huh? And they threw him into a prison. Huh? But over time as he was there, huh? he made a mistake. But his 
hair begin to grow back. Uh, and sometimes it may feel like the enemy has stolen everything. Uh, yes. Amen. But your hair is starting to grow back. Uh, yes. God yes. is building you in the midst of uh, the things that you've been going through. Yes. Uh, the battles that you've been going through. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, so be encouraged. Uh, yes. Amen. Because God has a purpose uh, and a plan. Uh, yes. On the other side of this battle, uh, yes. there is victory. Uh, on the other side of your discouragement uh, yeah. there is victory uh, on the other side uh, there is going to be victory yeah. Uh, yeah. I hope somebody uh, yeah. gets a hold of it today yeah. There is going to be victory. Now, so now when we go into, uh, when we start talking about Joshua, uh, just to go back a little bit, uh, we know that he was Moses' successor. Now, he goes and he he's the one that leads the people of Israel uh, out, of the, out of the wilderness, uh, and they're on a journey to the promised land. Uh, there's always going to be tests, uh, and there's always going to be trials uh, as they go. Uh, so then they go and they consecrate themselves uh, because you have to consecrate yourself uh, to get ready for what God is doing. Uh, that's why we're fasting and praying uh, because we believe that God is going to do uh, a new thing. Uh, so they go from there. They cross over the Jordan uh, with the ark. Uh, they go into Jericho uh, and they get victory in Jericho. Uh, this was their first victory. Uh, all they had to do was march around uh, and the walls fell down. Uh, and then but somebody messed up uh, they go into Ai uh, but some one person sinned in the camp uh, and it caused them to lose the battle uh, because they disobeyed God. Uh, you have to be careful uh, in times when God is moving you uh, that you don't disobey uh, what God is saying. Uh, that you don't disobey uh, the steps that God is directing you. Uh, it is very important uh, to be obedient in the midst of transition. Uh, so yeah. then uh, they had to, they killed uh, uh, um, Achan and his family for the sin, uh, for bringing a curse upon them. Yeah. Uh, and then they get the victory uh, over Ai. Uh, so by this time now, uh, people are starting to hear uh, about this great nation uh, that has this powerful God uh, that's able to make waters back up. Uh, they hear about this nation uh, that are able to march around and make walls fall. Uh, they hear about this nation uh, that took out Ai. Uh, and that's the thing. Uh, the enemy sees uh, that you're making, that you're progressing. Uh, and the enemy is devising a plan uh, oh that he can take you down uh, because of your progression. Uh, he's making a plan uh, to try to stop you. Uh, oh hey man, the kingdom of darkness uh, is always going to come uh, against the kingdom of light. Uh, so the next nation that they had to dealt with uh, was Gibeon. Uh, so Gibeon was a nation. Uh, the Bible says that they were a great nation. Uh, the Bible says that they had mighty warriors. Uh, it was a mighty it was a mighty nation. Uh, I'm sorry, a mighty, it was a mighty city. Uh, amen. So the Gibeonites, they tricked Israel. Uh, they came and they got the old donkeys. Uh, they took the beat up sheep. Uh, they put on the bad Jordans. Uh, they put on robes with holes in it. Uh, and they came uh, and they came and they lied to them. Uh, and they said that we are travelers uh, from another nation. Uh, amen. Because they seen they didn't want to go to war against Israel. Uh, they was afraid uh, because of what the victories they were getting. Huh? So they deceived them. Huh? And they said, we don't want to go to war with you. Huh? We're traveling just like you. Huh? We want to make a, a peace tree. Huh? Let's make an oath huh? that we won't go to war huh? with one another. Huh? But the problem was, huh? Israel did this the last time. Huh? They did not seek the Lord. Huh? Amen. So this nation, this tribe, huh? or this city, huh? They deceived Israel, huh? And they made them make a peace tree, huh? They made an oath, huh? The Bible says the oath, well, the oath that they made, huh? Was the same oath that God gave with Abraham, huh? The same level of oath, huh? So if you break that oath, there is a curse, huh? So they made an oath to say that we will not kill you, huh? Amen. So then later on, they found out that they were lying, huh? Amen. And then they made them, their, Israel made them their servants, huh? 
Huh? But they couldn't kill them at this point. Huh? You have to be careful huh? who you come in alignment with. Huh? You have to be careful huh? who you agree with. Huh? You have to be careful huh? who you shake hands with and make an agreement. Huh? You have to be careful huh? on who you date. Huh? You have to be careful huh? Hallelujah, on who you marry. Huh? You have to be careful huh? on, your, on your business transactions. Huh? What job you go to. Huh? Because when God has a purpose, huh? the enemy will sometimes sense something uh, that seems like a blessing, uh, but rather instead, uh, it's a curse. Uh, it's something that God has not Jesus. ordained. Uh, so you have to be careful uh, that you don't come into agreement uh, with certain things. Uh, you have to have the spirit of the sermon. Uh, the problem was that they did not seek the Lord. Uh, before you make an agreement, uh, you have to learn to, to seek God uh, and say, hey, give me some time uh, or whatever it may be and seek what the Lord is saying huh, before you make an agreement. Huh? Yeah. So they made this agreement. And then, so now, the five kings come together. Huh? The, five, the, the five kings come together. Huh? It was five tribes. They were up in the mountains. Huh? Yeah. And they came together against, amen, they, 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 they too heard about Israel. Huh? And then they heard about Gibeon. Huh? Joining forces with Israel. Huh? Amen. So the king said, uh, we got to get together. Huh? And sometimes the enemy, they may feel like uh, that he's even coming in stronger. Huh? Yes. Amen. Because you are moving forward, uh, the enemy will bring in everything. Huh? You ever feel like when you're going through everything you try to do, uh, it's, it's, it's hard. Huh? Yes. Everything you try to do is a fight. Huh? Amen. Even this week. Huh? Amen. Putting the lights up. Huh? This was supposed to happen weeks ago. Huh? It was a fight to get the lights up. Huh? It was a fight. Amen. We had we was working in here before the sound man came. Huh? It was a fight getting the sound up and the board was acting up and we had a squirrel that came into the church and we had all kind of stuff that we were dealing with this week that we were fighting with. Huh? The enemy does not want to see you huh, go forward. We thought the squirrel was a raccoon. Huh? Y'all know how I feel about raccoons. Huh? Amen. So we were in a fight even this week. Huh? We had a water problem in the basement. Huh? We, we had the, the vanity that we got for the bathroom was cracked. Huh? And then the enemy was fighting us on every hand. Huh? When you look to go forward, huh, the enemy is going to fight you. Huh? But you got to stay in the fight. Huh? You got to stay in the press. Huh? You got to keep fighting. Huh? We are in this. We are in this fast. Huh? And the enemy is fighting us in this fast, huh? all the way till the end, and then after. Huh? But you got to keep fighting saints. Huh? You got to stay encouraged. Huh? Amen. So then, huh, the Gideonites, amen, got attacked. Huh? The five kings came against them. Huh? And then they came against the Gideonites. Huh? And then they uh, 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 they begin to attack them. Huh? So they get on their horses huh? and they ride 25 miles huh? all the way down to Joshua and Gilgal. Huh? And they say, they, they, they cash in their their peace tree, uh, and say, hey, brother, we're under attack. Uh, amen. And then, so Joshua and his men rose up uh, in the middle of the night. Uh, they kept their word. Uh, you have to be a man and a woman uh, oh, of integrity. Yes, uh, yes, and yes. you have to keep your word uh, when you make an oath. Uh, amen. So they got up in the middle of the night. Uh, they marched 25 miles uh, to the battle. Huh? They got there in about eight, to, if they got there overnight. Huh? Eight to ten hours. Huh? If, if it was a big, if, they could have took three days. This journey would normally take three days sometimes. Huh? 25 miles in eight to ten hours. Huh? You can imagine by time huh, they got to this battlefield huh, that they were tired. Huh? They marched all night long. Huh? Did not get any sleep. Huh? And then asked Joshua, huh, if you don't get anything in the message. Huh? You need to get this. Huh? As Joshua is going, huh? as Joshua is traveling, huh? the Lord begins to speak to him. Yeah, huh? yeah. He begins to speak to him. Huh? And he says, Joshua, huh? he said, fear not. Huh? Uh -huh. Fear not because I am with you. Yeah. 
Huh? As an enemy that's going to stand before you. Huh? It's going to fall. Huh? Somebody ought to get a hold of faith. Huh? He told them huh? that the enemy is going to be defeated. Huh? So Joshua, huh? they get to the battleground. Huh? And they begin to fight. Huh? And the Bible says huh? that as soon as they got there, they started to win over the enemy. Huh? They were tired. Huh? They went all night long. Huh? And they started to defeat the enemy. Huh? Amen. Huh? But then God said huh? that he was going to be with them. Huh? And then the Bible says that hailstorm came. Huh? And it started to kill the enemy. Huh? But God will be with you in a supernatural way. Huh? And it began to destroy the enemy. Huh? And then as they were in the nighttime. Huh? I mean in the daytime. Huh? And they were fighting all day. Huh? Beating the enemy. Huh? Without rest. Huh? And then something happened. Huh? It started to look like that it was going to get dark. Huh? Yeah, yeah. But when Joshua began to speak a word, huh? he did something huh? that nobody else ever yeah. done. Yes, huh? he, he spoke to the sun. Huh? Yeah. And he spoke to the moon. Yes, huh? yes. And he told the sun huh? to stand still. Yeah. Huh? And he told the moon yeah. huh? yes. to stand still. Yes. Huh? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Huh? Yes. Why was Joshua huh? yes. able to speak that word? Huh? Yeah. Tell you why, huh? Because when God gives you a word, huh, to say you got the victory, huh, yeah. over a situation, yeah. huh, if you step out on faith, huh, you can speak to the sun, yeah. huh, and you can speak to the moon, huh, and it will stand still, huh. God will move heaven and earth, huh, because God said, I'm going to give you the victory, huh. But Joshua said, I need some more time, huh. I need more time to fight, huh. And then so he tells the sun to stand still, huh. If God has given you a word, huh? whatever word that God has given you, oh, huh? yeah. you got to stand on that word. Huh? Yeah. You got to stand on what God said. Yeah. Huh? Because if it looks like huh, that it's not going to come to pass, huh? you can speak huh? that the craziest thing in faith. Huh? Because God said it, huh? you can speak a word yeah. huh? over it. Huh? So what did God say huh? about you? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. 
So they fought the battle. Yeah. And they defeated the enemy. Joshua stood on that word. And it said that he, he gave that word in front of everybody. He was full of faith yes, when he said it. He knew that that sun wasn't going to move. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Amen. So you need to speak that word that God has given you. Full of faith. Full of faith. Even when it looks like it's not going to happen, I'm going to stand on the word and have faith in the word. And it gives me the authority and the power to then speak because God gave me that word. And I'm not going to let the enemy take what God has given me. So then after that, they went and they battled and they defeated the enemy. And they said they took the five kings and they, they stood on their, they took them and they stood on their necks, showing a sign of authority over them in victory. Amen. God is going to give you victory by the word that he gave you to stand on the devil's neck. God, yes. Amen. To stand on the neck of the enemy. Yes, Amen. We're going to yes. stand on the neck of yes. the enemy. Yes. Amen. Oh, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, and God. we believe God. Yes. We believe God. Amen. For victory. Yes. Amen. When we pray and when we are in the will of God, God will give us the victory over our enemies. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. I'm going to close with this. That there was, there was a, um, an army platoon in World War II. This is a true story. And they were fighting the Germans, and they were down the hill with foxholes, and the Germans had them pinned down. And they're firing upon them, and one person... Amen. And, and you know, you know, if you have the upper ground in the war, normally those that that's below are going to lose. Amen. But they had the upper ground, and as they was firing on them, it looked like it was hopeless. Sometimes the enemy is firing on us, and it looks like it's hopeless. But one man had a relationship with God. One young man, yes. you know, they were drafted him at a young age. One young man had a relationship with God. Yes. He crawls out of the foxhole and he goes behind a tree and he lays down Jesus. and he begins to pray. Jesus. And as he begins to pray, a fall comes in and confuses the enemy. Well, God. They were able to escape. Amen. And none of them were killed. Yes. What, a, a, what a mighty God that we serve. Yes. When you, when your back is against the wall, Jesus. amen, and you are in trouble, amen, and you pray and it's the will of God, God will rescue you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. You. So they got out and they went and all these men and they found themselves at a church. And they went and they was, they was, they was I guess, in a safe place where they were at a church. And they went into the church and they gave God the praise. Some of them didn't even know God. Amen. But they gave God the praise for saving their lives. Yes, Amen. How many times has God got you out of situations? We owe God the praise. Every time I think about it, amen, I owe God the praise. Every time you think about how he kept you. Every time you think about how your children are healthy. Every time you think about how he's blessed you. Every time you yes. think about how he provided for you, how he healed you, how he kept your family, how he blessed you. Amen. Every time you think about it, we owe God the praise. Amen. 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 There's a cloud coming. Amen. To confuse the enemy. And there's a miracle in the battle. Even in the battle. Amen. You have faith. Amen. There's a miracle in the battle. Amen. And I know the enemy is fighting us. Amen. As we are moving forward, amen, to this last week of fasting. And as we're moving forward, amen, to um, the revival. Amen. I believe that God is, I don't know what God is going to do exactly, but I'm just following his instructions. Amen. And we're believing that God is going to do great things. Amen. And we're believing from there, we're going to launch off to even greater things. Amen. But we thank God. 
Amen. For his word. And we're going to stand on that word, Morningstar. No matter what it looks like. Amen. We're going to stand on that word. We see what God has already been doing. Amen. And I was, I was, I was uh, on, I got, I got the call on, um, what day was it? What day was it, 29? Wednesday. About, you know, somebody had said, hey, I want to be a blessing for the parking lot. And we were able to get the parking lot, and I was here, amen, and I just, I just really got emotional, amen, because it was Bishop's birthday. And I started to think, and I just said, man, he would have been, he would have been so proud and happy, amen, amen, to see the church get painted and see the outside and the things that were getting accomplished and that were going on and that the saints are growing and getting stronger, yes. amen. I thank God. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank God. Amen. And this really touched me. It really touched me. And I thank God that we're building on the foundation. Amen. And we're continuing to go on in the Lord. Amen. So I thank God for what all the things that he has done. Amen. Let's give God the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us all stand as we pray, and I just want to pray over you this week, amen, that you keep fighting, yes. amen, no matter what's going on, I know we're all fighting something, yes. amen, and that we will get through this week together, yes. when God puts somebody on your heart, pray for them, you might not know why yes. you're praying for them, amen, but pray for them, amen, yes. some of us have been going through some things, yes. amen, some of us have been dealing with you know, people that are, 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 are sick, some people have died, some people are going through financial difficulties, marriage, and different things. Some people are going through all different kind of things in their body, getting attacked. Amen. But our God is greater. Amen. Our God is greater. Amen. And he will never be defeated. Our God is champion. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Amen. So let us pray. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. Lord, we thank you, God, this day. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your word, God, that we're standing on. And we thank you, Lord, for victory today. We thank you, Jesus. And Lord Jesus, I speak it over this house, God. Amen, Lord Jesus. Keep us, God, as we go through this week, God, as we've been fighting, God, going through this week, God. But you've given us a word, God, and we're standing on the word. Amen. And we're standing on the word, God. Amen. In Jesus' name. And we're searching and we're looking for more of you. And we're expecting the glory of the Lord to come in this place, God, and to draw, God, amen, for revival in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would have your way, God. Bless us, God. Bless every battle that we've been going through and our family members and our marriage with our children, Lord Jesus, whatever is going on with our parents, God. Bless us and strengthen us, God, and heal us, God, and keep us in the name of Jesus. I speak a blessing right now, God. Hallelujah, Lord, to get us through, God, in the name of Jesus. We bind the enemy. Amen. We bind the enemy. Amen. And we put our foot upon his neck in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And, Lord, everything that's wrong, God, that we need to repent about, we repent, God, right now in the name of Jesus. Before the courts of heaven, God. That every legal thing in the spirit realm, hallelujah, would be made right, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That the enemy will not give the victory, God. Lord, that we go from here and we sin no more. Like you told the woman that was caught in adultery to go and sin no more. Let us go and let us sin no more. Amen. And let us be led by the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name.